It has been confirmed that there will be 20 explorable planets in LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. Remember, this focuses on all three eras, so the prequel era, the original trilogy era, and the sequel era. Remember to leave a like if you enjoy everyone, it really does help the video grow and the support means a lot as well. And leave a comment telling me which planet you're most excited to visit first in LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. And so far, 13 of these planets have been confirmed. The other 7 are up for some discussion for now until we get some confirmation. As far as the 13 planets that have been confirmed so far go, some of these are by images, others are just by developer confirmation or what people saw at E3 when LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga was playable. Remember, certain planets like Tatooine, for example, could cross over eras as it's already in the prequel era and the original trilogy era, and there'll most likely be missions in both eras with this. So let's get into these planets. The 13 we know of so far, Naboo, Coruscant, Geonosis, Utapau, Mustafar, and then if we go on to the original trilogy era, but potentially, like I said, one of these could be for the prequels as well. We have Tatooine, Yavinfor, Hoth, Dagobah, Bespin. And then if we finally move on to the sequel era, we have Jakku, Starkiller Base, and Krait. Now as far as the seven remaining planets, I think you've got to definitely look back to the older LEGO Star Wars games like the Complete Saga and see what planets are missing out of there as well. But something you've also got to take into consideration is obviously the sequel planets, uh, ones that we've never seen in LEGO games before like Kanto Bai, I'm sure we'll get some missions in there as well. But Episode 9, what planets from Episode 9 could be appearing in this game as well. That's how we'll probably be fixing the missing slots and putting in the seven remaining planets. I definitely think this is a nice roster of planets for now. I am most excited for Naboo or Coruscant just because I'm a huge prequel fan, but I'm curious as to what levels from the older games will be carried over and just obviously they have said they're building the game from the ground up, but which levels they'll take from the older games and kind of keep the objective similar or which levels we might have never seen before, maybe something like when Palpatine gets arrested and that could be one of the Coruscant missions. Imagine that, that would be pretty cool. Instead of maybe having the level where you infiltrate the Jedi Temple because you don't see much of that in the movies from Obi-Wan and Yoda. It could be replaced with a Palpatine's arrest scene and I think stuff like this would be pretty cool. Dagobah, for example, I think is going to stay very similar to the complete saga, but only time will tell with these things. Well, thank you very much for watching everyone. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know which planet you're most excited for, which one will you be heading to first if we are giving the option, of course. I will see you all next time with some more LEGO Star Wars or Battlefront 2 content.